And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Darius. We're going to be playing another Grand Plaza deck, but this one with Katarina, one of my favorite champions. And the Grand Plaza is a card that does make Katarina much, much better. So, because it's, you know, the three mana, three, three quick attack. Whenever it strikes, you put it back into your hand. So you, it goes back to your hand as soon as it strikes with the quick attack and you attack with it so that they don't have a chance to. Uh, deal damage to your Katarina right afterwards. And of course, your leveled up Katarina allows you to rally. Rallying is really important. So both of these are great with the Grand Plaza because the Grand Plaza, you know, you get to challenge, it gets the plus one, plus one, obviously nice. Gets the challenger, so you get to choose who you'd like to have block your Katarina. Your Katarina just strikes and then goes back to your hand. So it's basically like you could turn this into like damage removal, kind of like, you know, like, um, you know, thermogenic beam or something like that of, of just like, or gotcha, right? Like that you're just doing like damage uh, to any unit that you want with the Katarina and the Grand Plaza. But the level up Katarina is really important because being able to rally, you get to play that on your opponent's turn so that if you're playing other units on your opponent's turn, they get the plus one, plus one challenger bonus. And usually like whenever, if you don't have the attack token, that plus one, plus one challenger bonus isn't going to matter. But if Katarina can rally and get you the attack token, then that bonus is good on each turn. Um, so that's pretty important. All right, so besides that, uh, we also have some other like pretty good cards, just Iron Ballista. I always love Legion Drummer, giving supported allies quick attack. That works great with Challenger, which Grand Plaza gives us. House Spider is just incredible with the Grand Plaza. We have two cards with House Spider and Gr Gr Grizzled Ranger that are just incredible with the Grand Plaza, and y'all all know about like Grizzled Ranger with it, but House Spider gets you the 3-3 and the 2-2, both being challengers. We got Fleet Feather Tracker, that's a regular challenger in here. And then our top end, um, Kato the Arm, getting that uh, Overwhelm. We have Radiant Guardian being all good and stuff. And then Darius. Darius uh, can finish out games, be a huge Overwhelm. Um, so especially if they're at like less than 10, we make it a 10-6, maybe even 11-7 Overwhelm Challenger, challenge their smallest thing, get all that damage in. And then since we talked about how rallying is really important with Grand Plaza and we're playing Darius, we're going to play some Apprehends as well. Um, so we're going to try this card out, just being the stun and then maybe rally uh, if we have the Darius. So hopefully that works out. That's our deck, Katarina Darius with Apprehend. Let's go give it a try. All right, Twisted Fizz. Morning Tea Time. Thank you so much for that uh, resub five month streak going on there. Thank you so much. Our third sub of the day. Okay, as far as our hand go, I, I really like Tracker, Culling Strike, and honestly, I like Ballistas too. I kind of just like this hand. This is a good one. Unfortunately, we don't get to, um, you know, we don't have the attack token on turn three for the Ballista, but that's all right. We can play a Ballista on their turn three, and then on our turn four, we get to play another Ballista, and then we can have both Whirling Death and Culling Strike as well. And I know I could Katarina Blade's Edge kill one of those, but we can do that in a little bit anyway. Can you perfection? What do you think is the best kind of deck to play against as Katarina Darius? Um, it's a good question. I think something that like that has like smaller units that we get to challenge a bunch, you know, like assuming like we have Grand Plaza and then, you know, like House Spider or Grizzled Ranger can mess up some decks with smaller units. So like honestly a deck like this not like isn't too bad of a matchup, but we we don't have Grand Plaza. Of course I didn't keep Grand Plaza. Um people I'm, I am worried about Mystic Shot. If I go Whirling Death, they go Mystic Shot. 
guess I am a little worried about that. This is a, just a great Whirling Death, though, because I want to save Coling... Like, I want to Coling Strike the, the Fate. No, I'm just going to let this happen. And Coling Strike the Fate. You think this should be called Iron Battering Ram instead of Iron Ballista? But it's it's not like a Battering Ram, though, right? Because it's it, like, sits back in, like, the back of the battlefield and shoots arrows. All right, so it's not, like... It's not a Battering Ram. Wow. That was a little surprising. Keep up, keep up. All right, so they did have the mystic shot. No one gets in my way. And so yeah, so if I would have gone humanity is obsolete. If I would have gone with the Kato, they would just they would have missed a shot in my 4 2, and I would have, you know, wouldn't have had a very good attack with just the Kato. Which, you know, I guess it was kind of the same of just the Katarina, but um, at least I got to kill both of their little 1 1s. I'm gonna just whirling death this thing. Um, this keeps them from killing my Kato. It won't be vulnerable anymore after this round. Um, I can keep the sharp sight to be able to block an elusive later. I guess I'm playing you, Legion Drummer. Alright, well, I guess I'm playing you, Radiant Guardian. I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Strike for justice! So I do have Sharp Sight plus Judgment to kill a bunch of stuff, but they also could maybe level up Twisted Fate if they get lucky. Leveling up Twisted Fate's pretty scary. So if we don't want to have Judgment, we can have like multiple Katarina. Because yeah, if I, if I play Katarina, we're looking at, because we have 12 mana right now, so I guess that would still put me to 8, so I'd still have Judgment. But I wouldn't have sharp sight judgment, which I kind of need sharp sight judgment because they're not attacking with the twisted fade. Two, four, six, seven, eight. They only have eight mana right now. Never. I'm gonna try this. We'll see if it works out. 
Yeah, Apprehend's definitely like more of a, a meme tier card. Certainly, like it's uh, most of the time will be worse than Relentless Pursuit, but we're playing Darius, and you know we just want to play Apprehend. Sometimes you got just got to play some cards that you want. All right, so they have gotten kind of lucky. They had Sprayfin and Rummage. This is where I would have the opportunity to play Judgment. You can't do this. Okay, but they're just passing to me. I'm gonna just let it happen. Go to 12, put them down to four. Still have this uh, Overwhelm. Up. And they level up Twisted Fate so fast. No going back. Alright, so that's blue card. Yep, yep, yep. Eyes open. Okay, didn't find anything for the 7 damage overwhelm. And we're 1 0. Where the starts. Alright, back to another Fizz deck. It's been a whole lot of bilge water today. A lot of Twisted Fate. This is like the first one, it's not Twisted Fate. Um, I like our hand. I think Conserva Strike may be a little expensive. I want to keep the, the two drops. The The thing that is kind of unfortunate, though, is that I have the attack... You know, I don't have the attack token turn four. Right? So, like, we have it turn three, turn five. So if I play Plaza on three, I don't have it the attack token again until turn five. All right, so I was thinking that maybe the Apprehend wouldn't do anything for us again, but we do have Darius now, so now we can maybe do something. Remember why we fight. So of course I got, I wanted to get the drummer in play to go along with the sharp sight to block the Zoe. Mystical levitation requires concentration. And I'm, I'm playing the House Spider on my attacking turn. Celestial power. Hi I'm ready. Track them down. I guess maybe I should have played this other tracker and not taken three from this thing. We'll see if that comes back to haunt me. Well, now I don't have room. Yeah, Tadpoling asks, do you think that the Crimson Disciple card, the 2-3, two, two, that whenever it uh, survives damage, do one damage to the enemy Nexus, should that be buffed in some way as it hasn't really seen play ever since the nerfs? Um, and no, I, I don't 
think so. I think that's that's a pretty hard card to balance because two two is too much. Three is not enough. You can't make it a three three. I, I think it's better as a two three than a three two. I think it's kind of fine where it is. To victory. I just want to get this 3-2 out of here. Like, I'm going to be blocking it anyway, like, whenever it attacks. It's like, I should have played my other track on the last turn and blocked with it, but... I just want to get it out of here. <clears throat> I can't, like, sit back and take 3 damage. Yeah, but you never know. Like they could have something on their end that makes that makes it a lot better attacker the next time. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. All right, so I'll just play the Darius this turn, yep, yep, yep. and I guess I could go with the apprehend. I was thinking the apprehend next turn. Yeah, I probably I probably want it for next turn. Well, no, maybe I do it this turn. All right, that'll do. We'll stun this thing. Let's have something that's pretty good that's zero mana. I think we have this. Now we can just immediately attack again. Or, you know, I could play House Spider. What can go wrong? Basically, either way. If I open attack, they could, they'd have to like hush Darius and like make it rain and kill the other two. Just Nexus healing. Would they have like, would they have like hush and then like guiding touch, guiding touch, or star shaping? Would they just have? Yeah, I guess they could just have hush star shaping. That could be a card they're playing like in Zoe deck. I don't really know how how it's bad playing the house spider. Like Crescent Strike, I guess. Like they stun a couple of things with Crescent Strike, but then I still I still just put two attackers out here with And then the Crescent Strike they don't have Yeah. Yeah, hush hush plus star shaping isn't that unlikely. Just everybody just wants to play Fizz right now. All right, another another twist of fate, Fizz. Um, same thing again. We don't we have the attack token kind of on the wrong turn. Um, I will just keep all of this. How do we keep on having our like one of judgment and like the two of the um. The two of the apprehend. We keep on seeing the apprehends and then just like the one judgment. I guess the problem with going Katarina first is Katarina would die to. So, like, the upside of like, I could play Katarina this turn and then, you know, play the Grand Plaza on their turn. Yeah, you know, like on, on next turn. The, the one problem with that is that Katarina would die to Mystic Shot. If I wait, Katarina can get, like, gold carded, but, you know, won't just die because, you know, have, like, the three health. Come 
All right, cool. Back over to me. Now we got options. And I think Cat is the best option. Yeah, you know, we could go Ballista, House Spider. I already have like these two to take down those two. Cause I, I really want this leveled up Cat. Not kill my Katarina. Perfect. So now, with having the Katarina back into our hand, we get to, um, you know, we can play like House Spider and Katarina next turn and, you know, level up and be able to have the attack token on both turns. Um, and I think I'd rather just save the spell mana. I, Sure, I could do one damage to their Nexus, one damage to this Twisted Fate. I don't know if either of those really matter. I'm just going to save the one spell mana that maybe that comes in hand later. No going back. They could probably guess that I was going to be doing that. Yeah, Cater yeah, Flaza's great when you just always have the attack token. Yeah, Flaza makes it so you just don't you don't have to worry about what turn you play your units. Oh, Twisted Fates pick a card. All right, basically because of suit up, I decided to go this this route. Double Mystic Shot? Ouch. I was going to be going the, the, with the Spiderling challenging it until they did the, the pick a card, and once they did the pick a card, then it really made it more imperative to kill that. And so I went with the Katarina. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Soak it in. People love drawing their cards. So basically they're going to they're going to go like red card and then they can even have gold card but gold card will stun the ballista and not the legion drummer. So the legion drummer is still going to be killing this twisted fate. Oh never mind, they just have all the mystic shots in the world. In their Formation. Man, twisted fate's messed up. I I guess if, so even if I would have gone with the 2-2 two -two to challenge Still would have had multiple mystic shots to try to, to kill my Katarina. Yeah, like if, if you don't have like removal to kill the Twisted Fate, you you just lose. It, you can't. Yeah, yeah, we can't can't do much about that. Join me if you want to live. On that. If they play that, that's gold card. I have nothing. Now I play Radiant Guardian. Now they got rid of gold card.
What we are we are very we are not winning at all. We are losing by a lot. Safety disengaged. <laughs> they have millions of cards and leveled up Twisted Fate. Strike for justice! I think if I just try to cast Culling Strike, like the odds are they have another Twisted Fate, and they would go like another Twisted Fate gold card. But no, this is. Uh, I think that we're going to be dead the next turn, but we'll see. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Yep. They got 17 cards left. That's their third Twisted Fate, right? I think. Yeah, I guess we can't can't defeat these Bilgewater decks three times in a row. I guess. So yeah, we have to get lucky that they misplay and allow me to block and allow me to go card. Or like, allow me to block, allow me to judgment, I mean. And I, I have to go here because if they play any spell, it's gold card, which gets rid of the ballista. Okay, so that was the card I couldn't beat. Dead in their tracks. Hey, great job! They drew like all their mystic shots and get excited, and all their twisted fates, and then you know was able to level up twisted fate. Predictions. All right, starting prediction has started now. So we're playing Grand Plaza Mirror Match. Um, our hand looks great, but again, yet again, we have the attack token the wrong turn for the Grand Plaza. They have it the correct turn. Um, yet again, that's going to hurt us. Sure is dark, eh? Alright, so that's Clutch having that first removal spell for a Lucian. Alright, yep. No cooling strike for me. So they refill, so that was the that was the card they reduced in cost, just one mana for the Shark Chariot. So this is currently seven damage coming in. So, uh, plus another four, so 11 damage. So I'm down to seven. Assuming I don't block any of these. Why did one of the two two stay back? 
So I could I could save two life, which I guess that's actually probably worth it because it's either like save two life or to so save two life or deal three damage to them. And so do I want like both of our you know my life total to be down two, their their life total down three, or not? I'll just pick it back up, put it back in my hand. Okay. So I'm going to go Tracker and then either Grizzled Ranger or House Spider. We can do either one. Let's go... Like, the Grizzled Ranger just, you know, uses my mana a lot better. And then also, um, next turn, like, House Spider plus Katarina is pretty solid. All right, good play. You got us this turn. The shadow approaches. Y'all think this works? And I sure hope so. Yay! All right, cool. That worked. Now I can get this attack in. Now we got the 4 5 challenger and the uh, turn goes to them. Oh, I already have the attack token. What am I doing? What am I doing? I was just thinking with like the, the Katarina and the House Spider, which one to play first, and I went this route because they knew about this card. But I already had the attack token. Double attack token, I guess. Yeah, hopefully that misplay doesn't cost us. Um, I could, you know, like, could be able to attack twice. They gotta have something here, right? They, they didn't have anything last turn, so what would they have this turn now? Nothing? They just... At least... At least my mistake was not nearly as big as their mistake. So yes, I did make a mistake, but they made a worse one. Uh, okay, because that was, that was their plan was harrowing. Okay, maybe I guess that makes sense. Maybe theirs wasn't actually a mistake. Okay, let's see. We're going to have... Culling Strike. Which I guess I, I have to Culling Strike right now, don't I? Because once these attack, these will level up, and then all ephemeral allies will have plus three, plus zero, so we won't be able to culling strike anymore. Because I need to kill the solution so they don't get two attacks. I guess it's still game over though, isn't it? Because this is eight, eight, that's 16 overwhelm. I can block six of it, so that's 10, but then I can't block all these other things. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is just game. Yep. We'll see if they mess up. But it looks like they're not messing up. It's exactly, that's the exact attack they should have. So yeah, that's game. Play. No, I can't, I can't cooling. Once they attack, this gets plus three. I can't cooling strike anymore, right? Like, these, these, these not die to cooling strike anymore. So, yeah. And then they'll have, they'll have an additional attack. Yeah, so I messed, I messed that up. I wonder if I would have, if I would have, uh, been able to have the two attacks of the Katarina, how that could have worked. Hey, Zizu. Finally! Get rid of this. Actually, this could be good, but no, well... Mm. I mean, it could be good against Lee Sin. Alright, sure, I'll keep it. <laughs> Finally, these last three games, and like these last two that we lost, are, you know, like we've had the attack token 
on the first turn, and that's been difficult for us. Um. I don't know if I should... I don't think I do. I know I could play Tracker and then House Spider next next turn and... Uh, no, let's just keep this. Alright. But I don't I don't think I actually do that. I know I could could do that to kill the, the Zoe, but I think that the value from Grand Plaza and the House Spiders is too great to do that. Of course, if they don't play any other units, it's not going to be too much value. I'm like inviting Pill Cascade, basically. Concussive Balm, sure. Oh, thank, thank you, Morning Tea Time. It says, don't beat yourself up over the misplay. It's a consequence of playing donation decks every day, so you're mo more prone to mistakes. Yeah, that, I guess that's true. You know, whenever you just play games, uh, play decks for five games each, you're not going to be mastered. You know, you're not going to have a mastered the ins and outs and everything. But that's that was a pretty easy Extend one. But we all make, make mistakes. It happens. What did I cast? Pulling Strike. Okay, I, play, I cast Pulling Strike. Virtue guides me. Could be a good Katarina. I think that's the Culling Strike from like where it was. Culling Strike gives the Leeson Barrier, which is why they would want to play it. And it could kill my 3 2. Oh, that doesn't work. It's the barrier afterwards, so. Okay, well that's two less spells that they have. For future turns, I guess. Yuck. Stun. Okay. Try to kill the Zoe with the Blade's Edge. No, I know that Blade's Edge could be really important to taking down a barrier from Lee Sin. This might hurt. 
Okay. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be trouble. I'm going to get rid of this Lee Sin. Going to be trouble. Could use something a little better than a 1 or a 2 mana card. Unfortunately, that means hush. Yeah, Hush, Hush was the best card against me possible. Man, and Concussive Palm, they just had it all. Just had it all. play House Spider right now, it does kind of keep the other things from dealing damage to me. This is this is 12 right here, as long as they have a spell. I guess it's... I mean, they only have two cards. I guess it's possible they don't have a spell. No. And that's, that's a plus two damage also, so unfortunately... Uh, oh, they went over there! Okay. We still have this. That would have been 14 if they would have gone on Lee Sin, but no, they went over there. So I can do that. Um, which I guess I guess I could also just go with the Sharp Sight and block. Maybe that's better. Yeah. I think it's more likely that the Whirling Death kills Lee Sin and the Sharp Sight. We need to draw something good, like a Darius, or, I don't know, something big. Katarina? Katarina would be nice. Ooh, that card? That card doesn't... That card doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, Katarina was our best draw. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Okay, so I do this, and then we Whirling Death and Concerted Strike. We know that this is a an Invoke card that costs three or less, so for the spells, obviously Moon Silver does nothing, Equinox is too slow, um, Crescent Strike is slow, and then the two mana one, what's the two mana one? I, oh, e the other, the Spell Shield, that thing's too slow also. So yeah, this will kill it. I could have saved the Whirling Death too, I guess, and just just killed that and just kept Whirling Death. Maybe that would have been better, but maybe not. Stop! How do we keep on only drawing one and two mana cards? I guess I did just top deck a Crescent, very uh, concerted strike, so I can't be too mad. It was Moonglow. Yeah, Katarina. Katarina would do wonders here for us. We would do a lot of work with the Katarina. That's that's our best draw. Come on, Cat. Oh, I thought that was Katarina. So close. We march as one, an unstoppable force. So close. Remember why we fight. This 
Come on, they draw their champion? Ugh. We've drawn one Katarina this game out of our champions. They've drawn... Don't be a spell. Ugh. There was a Lee Sin Sonic Waves? So they drew two Zoes and three Lee Sins. Five champions whenever I just drew my... You know, just drew my second Katarina. Yeah, great job. Way to draw it. Way to draw your champion first. Got outskilled. Well, disappointing end to that game. It looked like the concerted stri strike draw looked like it was going to help us come back. Um, but, you know, it was all, all for naught. We. Um, it was close, um, but didn't quite get there. They got they got Lee Sin and then top deck to spell the Lee Sin champion spell. Darn, because if you know if they if they just uh, obviously if they don't draw the Lee Sin we're looking great. But even if they draw the Lee Sin if they just drew another unit there and so then they didn't have the like if they just drew a unit that turn that very last turn and and just didn't have wasn't you know didn't have a spell to challenge. Um, I think that we win that. Like, I think Katarina takes down that Lee Sin and everything, but... Oh, well. All right, but anyway, I was pretty impressed with our Katarina deck. I mean, uh, yeah, these were these were good good close games and everything. Sure, you know, we went two and three, but um, Katarina plus Grand Plaza was awesome. Uh, it did look like our top end wasn't really necessarily that great. You know, like, we had Apprehend, so... Apprehend isn't really necessarily that good of a card, but, you know, like... If, if you want to play, like, the best deck possible, uh, you, of course, don't play Apprehend. And Darius, is, Darius, while, you know, it's good with the Apprehend and everything, it's it's not going to be as good of a champion as some others. Like, if I think, like, maybe the best version of this kind of deck is playing Garen instead of Darius. Because we saw how attacking on both turns with the Grand Plaza is just incredible. And so I think that maybe playing, like, Garen in here or Quinn, I think that, like, these champions work really well with the Grand Plaza and uh and honestly with grand plaza with this kind of stuff i wouldn't i wouldn't mind just playing like rallies right like you could actually just play rally um the relentless pursuit card you could play relentless pursuit instead of apprehend and maybe one of these champions um kato didn't look so great i could see kato i guess you know again if you're putting some more of these in kato judgment those cards didn't look so great but Judgment's, you know, like a real high variance card. That's why it's just a one of it. There's times where Judgment can win you games, but there's going to be a lot of times. Like we had, we had a couple of those. Like our first, our two, our first two losses. I think we were both just kind of sitting on Judgment, not doing anything. Um, so there's, there's a lot of other options that you could play in these kind of decks, also, um, and maybe even another Radiant Guardian in here. But oh well. All right, there we go. That was Katarina Darius. Still pretty sweet. I, I really like playing Katarina decks, and so um, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you could go... Yeah, you could go rec or Trifarian Assessor route with the Grand Plazas buffing... You know, have, have the Grand Plaza try to buff your units and then try to go Trifarian Assessor for more card draw. I don't, I don't know if that's really that necessary. I think that uh, you can still have a pretty good late game with the help of Katarina and, like, you know, like, if you have something like Garen, I think that's a better late game card. And I think that I would rather, instead of having, like, Trifarian Assessor, I'd rather have cards like, like, Egghead Researcher, I think would fit really well here. Like, maybe instead of the Fleet Feather Tracker playing Egghead Researcher, um, like, I liked Legion Drummer, and I liked House Spider. I definitely love House Spider with the Grand Plaza. But, like, Egghead Researcher, like, this is a good card that's, you know, good early. You don't, you don't have to wait for the Grand Plaza to play it. You can play it early, but then it gets you the Dragon. So, it's, like, this kind of stuff that can get you, like, those extra cards that, that help you keep going. And so, like, the dragon, uh, you know, sometimes can be, like, Eclipse Dragon or Enviolus Fox that helps the game continue on. And so you could do stuff like that. You could play like that. You could play, like, Vanguard Redeemer um, that, again, like, draws a unit that, you know, helps get you in. I think you could do, like, that kind of card draw and just be... I think those kind of cards are probably better. Um, like, the Vanguard Redeemer and... Uh, and your other card that I was just talking about, Egghead Researcher. I think I'd recommend those cards more than Trifarian Assessor. I think it'd be a little difficult to pull off the Trifarian Assessor. Okay. All right. But there we go. That's Katarina Daria. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.